Good evening, you're watching The Good Stuff with me, Shanakshi Chakravarti on NDTV 24-7. This time last year is when we introduced something called as The Good Stuff as a segment to bring you primarily all the stories that was all the good that was emerging out of this pandemic. Uh, stories that would leave you smiling, stories that would leave you with some hope and some faith. Stories of humanitarian efforts, most importantly. With exactly this intention, we reintroduce this back on the channel to tell you that we need the good stuff more than ever this time among, amid this difficult time. Let's kick start this good stuff with a story of a celebrity chef, Saranj Goyla, the founder of the famous Goyla's Butter Chicken uh, and somebody who has gone that extra mile to help people affected due to COVID by putting together, by curating all that information one needs if one is COVID-19 positive and needs home-cooked food, freshly prepared meals by somebody from someone's house. Chef Saranj Goyla is the man to the rescue who's put that spreadsheet all together. Good evening, Chef. Thank you for speaking to us. And let me begin by asking you, how are you and how's everybody uh, around you amongst these difficult times? Uh, good evening, Sunakshi, and thank you, first of all, for having me over. Um, I must say that we are all safe uh, uh, and keeping well, but uh, of course, uh, with immediate friends and family, there have been uh, uh, losses because of COVID. It has been a time of distress, uh, considering that my entire family is based out of Delhi and friend circle is also based out of Delhi. It's, it's been a lot of turmoil while I'm in Mumbai, and I think the cases are rapidly decreasing, and that's a good sign. Um, but uh, yeah, quite a devastating situation and uh, we are trying to do our best to help our community out. Right. Uh, just, just on that thought, Chef, uh, to try and help people out, I think uh, we are seeing the best of humanity uh, in the worst of our times right now as India battles its uh, one of its worst ever seen health emergency. A quick question for our viewers who don't know, Chef, if you can go ahead and tell us what is COVID Meals for India? It's a, it's a website that is curated specially for those who are hit by COVID-19, but at the same time need help with, with food, which is the most important and the most basic thing for survival how did you how did you come up with this idea it, it wasn't too long ago just about two or three weeks ago yeah uh, so, so actually covid uh, this this current wave in covid in india has created a unique problem which means because people are falling ill in crustal uh, clusters and there are many people who are falling uh, sick uh, which meant that it created a unique problem where um, people who were isolating at home did not have home cooked food services because their own friends and family couldn't have come to their rescue. You know, generally when you fall sick, your neighbor or your friend or your family will offer you food. But in this scenario, you're A, ill for a longer span of time, which means two to three weeks, you're isolated in your home. And uh, B, you need people around you also to be okay. And hence, I started getting a lot of uh, messages and tweets uh, on Instagram and on Twitter that we are not being able to, um, you know, find home-cooked meals. Can you suggest somebody who can help us out in this situation. And that prompted me to start a Google yeah. spreadsheet, which has now become a website. It's covidmealsforindia.com. Or you can WhatsApp, WhatsApp us directly on 888 as well. We have partnered with WhatsApp directly to make an automatic chatbot where you can uh, WhatsApp us on this number, say yeah. a hi, and you'll be able to find food in your PIN code. What the website essentially does is it connects a COVID patient uh, with a volunteer or a home chef mm -hmm. directly, uh, which means that you could be in any part right. of the country. Currently, we have 400 cities uh, listed on the website. We have more than yeah. 4,000 volunteers slash home chefs who are willing to help and provide these meals. Um, some of them are mm -hmm. meals for charity, which means so, people are... Yeah. You were saying something, Sonakshi. Right. Uh, Absolutely. So, so the idea of, of this, this entire uh, website was to ensure that people just maybe two clicks away or three clicks away can get freshly cooked, uh, home cooked meals when they are uh, surviving uh, and, and, and recovering that deadly virus. Um, and and I, I also know so many people who want that because a lot of people live alone and they don't have any help. Um, I want to ask you as somebody who represents Young India yourself, uh, how important do you think it is for Young India to uh, you know, come out, take that step forward and help people 
a lot of people at this time would want to be wary of it and stay home which is which is advisable but at the same time are also taking risks by helping others out how important do you think is people who have a voice someone like yourself could make use of that voice i think um, sonakshi you know i think this situation has left no choice for any of us which means that all of us must must stand up to help our community and our society uh because technically the system is broken in that sense right covid has really um uh, put us on the back fo- right. foot whether it's the citizens or the government uh, i i would not play the blame game right. the fact is that we are all on the uh, back foot and hence uh, young people and youth who can sort of put themselves at slightly more risk than uh, let's say adults uh, should come right. forward and uh, help in whatever way possible um and and you know technology actually enables us in many ways to help out of the comfort of our homes uh being a chef um, i'm very very Absolutely. proud to say that uh, that i have been able to use a tech platform to enable thousands of indians to help out in a situation like this which means people could be sitting in their home cooking two meals and uh, if they cook two extra meals they are ha- ha- actually helping two Absolutely. extra families uh and it it is just that Absolutely. what it takes you don't even need to take money it's just your thought and intent so so chef um, to 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 uh, uh, wrap this up with you but of course would love to chat more and would love to see more of what you do uh your message for our viewers watching us right now for anybody who's watching you uh, and and for of course the motto of this show is the good stuff to really believe in all the good that's happening you for one merit that because you are up to a lot of good things uh, when it comes to humanitarian efforts what would be your message I mean, you know, I would just like to say that uh, every meal matters. Uh, Mother Teresa used to say that you know, if you can't feed a hundred people, feed one. And I think that's where uh, the heart of a right. community lies. Uh, you do one good deed, and in this time, it's going to go a long way. You're helping one family out, so do that deed. Right. Thank you so much, Chef, uh, for speaking to us, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Saranj Goela, speaking to us and talking to us about the, all the efforts that is going into the way. Uh, thank you very much for speaking to us. Thank you, Sonakshi.